Welcome back. Our next guest has sold, wait for it, over 40 million records worldwide, has received more than 500 platinum awards, and his concerts in cinemas have grossed over a massive $60 million in the box office globally. It's incredible, isn't it? Talk about an overachiever. <laughs> a special concert <clears throat> celebrating 15 years of his glorious hometown concerts hits Irish cinemas next week. But before we talk to the man himself, let's get a sneak peek at Andre Rieu's magical Maastricht Together in Music concert. Yes, indeed. The king of the waltz, renowned violinist and conductor, Andre Rieu, joins us now live on the line from the Netherlands. Good morning, Maestro. You're very welcome to Ireland AM. Good morning, Andre. Good. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Simon. We are just watching the incredible footage of the concert, the Maastricht, uh, Magic yeah. Magic concert. It actually gives you goosebumps watching it, Andre. I mean... Of what it must be like to perform to a crowd that size, to a crowd who are so so giving back to you and the orchestra. Tell us about doing concerts like that. What is that feeling like? First, I want to say, to say I saw the pictures and I, it gave me goosebumps yeah. again because this year there was no concert. Mm -hmm. It was terrible to see these empty streets and the empty square. And therefore, we picked highlights from the last 15 years to show to the Irish people uh, what we did the last 15 years on the square. And to get back to your question, Simon, to be there on the square and to play for all these people and see all these happy faces, it's the best thing you, you can have in life. You're, you're known uh, as a weapon of mass happiness, Andre. <laughs> we're realising that already this morning and we're only talking to you for seconds. But you bring that audience on this kind of roller coaster of emotion. We see people bursting into tears. We see them laughing hysterically. It really is a whirlwind of emotion that the audience go through, isn't it? It's fantastic because I'm on stage there and I can... I can grab the people into my hands yeah. and lead them to all the emotions in life. So they jump out of their chairs and dance. They laugh, <clears throat> they cry, they hug, they kiss. Everything is possible in my concerts. And that's what I want. Therefore, I'm with my face <clears throat> to the audience. A normal conductor uh, turns his back to the audience. Exactly. But I want to see the people into the eyes. But can I ask you, Andre, just on that note before <clears throat> we move on, how are you creating that? Because we see successful musicians with, you know, huge arenas, filling huge concerts, but they don't necessarily achieve that level of emotion. So what are you doing to the crowd? I think the most important thing in music is emotion. When you, when you <clears throat> play music without emotion, that it's, then it's no sense. But when I grab my violin, I, I can play for you and I, I make you cry in one, one minute. <laughs> or I make you dance, or I make you laugh. And that's what I want to do with the audience. This interaction with the audience, that's why I travel the world, and that's why I come to Ireland. I think one of the keys to your success, Andre, is, and I think you hit the nail on the head, is that you look like you're enjoying it. The members of your orchestra look like they're enjoying yeah. it. You stand and you face the audience. And even when we see, yeah. even when we see those beautiful panning shots of the members of your orchestra, I've sang with orchestras and performed with them. A lot of them don't smile a lot of the time. Your orchestra seem to be enjoying it as much as you are, and that transfers out to the audience. Exactly, that's it. Once we were in America and there was a critic writing, Andre, tell me, did you have in the contract that your musicians have to laugh? <laughs> well, there you no, go. No, of course not, because you cannot, you know, we don't 
play a theater. We are really there every night, 100%. Yeah. And that's why the sparkle of humor and the sparkle of emotion jumps over to the audience. One of the amazing clips that we saw, I remember seeing it uh, recently on Sky Arts, one of your concerts, and it had that magical moment where among the audience, because the great and the good come to your concerts, but Sir Anthony Hopkins was there. And not only was he there, but you premiered his composition. I mean, what, yeah. what a night for him. But it must have been hugely proud. You must have felt hugely proud of yourself and your orchestra playing that piece for the first time with him sitting there listening to you. Yeah, it was incredible. He phoned me because I was in television in America and his wife saw that. And he, his wife <laughs> said, that man is going to play your walls. <laughs> Wow. And then he phoned me because years ago, years ago, he composed this waltz and uh, he phoned me and by accident I was in the studio and I played the first draft and I sent it to him and he was flabbergasted immediately. What an incredible it's a, thing. a brilliant partnership. Andre, where did it all start for you? You picked up the violin at maybe the age of five, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then my first teacher was an 80-year-old blonde girl. <laughs> and I immediately, <laughs> I was immediately in love with her. And that helped a lot. But you were surrounded by music. I mean, your father was a conductor too. So clearly there was music in your house. So I'd imagine just the actual process of learning how to read music, that came not yeah. naturally to you, but, you, but it was in your, your home structure. Yes, of course, I did the whole education, and in the beginning, it's difficult. But yeah. the 18-year-old blonde, she helped me because she had a beautiful vibrato, and that's what I wanted to achieve. I studied, I studied, I worked, and within three weeks, I had the vibrato, and that's what I still love. I, I was standing in front of the window playing beautiful melodies, and my mother was screaming, Andre, you have to study <laughs> your scales. You're trying to impress her, Andre. Was that the motivation? <laughs> no, I, want, I, I, I tried to impress the beautiful girls on the yes. street. There you go. <laughs> I'm sure it worked <clears> too. <throat> Tell us, what can we expect? Because we've, we've spoken to lots of musicians over the last few months on this show, Andre. And, you know, like all artists, they've had to get very creative with how uh, their concerts are happening. Yours are coming to Irish cinemas. Tell us, what can we expect? So, first, in the cinema, uh, everybody... It, can sit uh, here in Holland, they can sit now one meter from each other, mm -hmm. I think. And uh, on the screen, you see, of course, the pre-COVID time yeah. where everybody is hugging and kissing and dancing. And it starts with the very emotional part. I play wishing you were somehow here again. Uh -huh. And you see the empty streets and the empty square. But then there is two and a half hour of beautiful music and people crying and dancing and smiling. What has this year been like? Because you touched on it, Andre, at the top when you said there's been no concerts. But, I mean, it's not just you when we talk about Andre Ryu. We look at the orchestra. We look at the machine of technicians yeah. behind you. They haven't worked since the 15th or 16th of March. How are they getting on and how are you getting on? How are you, you and your organisation dealing with that? So we are doing nothing. Yeah. It's really terrible. Uh, mm. We came back from America. That was the 13th mm. of March. And since then, I'm at home. And I tell you what, uh, always when I'm on tour, I cannot sleep because I have a lot of adrenaline in my body. Mm. I look at baking uh, um, uh, uh, movies on my iPhone. And so I came at home and then I started to bake cakes. Fantastic. So you were doing banana bread like everybody else during <laughs> lockdown, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll bake banana bread for you. Oh, oh I would love that. You need to get a big envelope, Andre, because <laughs> it might drip on the way over from the Netherlands. Uh, is that how you how you dealt with the time off, though? I mean, you've you've you know you've gone to the kitchen, etc. But are you, are you preparing new music? Are you looking at new ventures yeah. further down the line? Yes, and we are working very much in the office to postpone the concerts. You yeah. know, uh, we hope. I, I'm sure we will come in April. To, uh, to Dublin, uh, but uh, in fact, we... Sh you should be here this weekend. Today, yeah, you yes. should have been in yeah, Dublin yeah, this yeah. weekend. Instead, yeah. you're with us virtually. So 
Yeah, so we are working every day to postpone and to reschedule, and, and it's a lot of work. Well, it's been charming talking to you, Andre. We won't let you go just yet because uh, we want to say a very good morning to Andre Rieu's biggest fan, Frank Burke, who's in St. Vincent's Hospital this morning, whose birthday is tomorrow. Uh, his loving daughter, Joanne, got in touch with us. So maybe, Andre, you'll give him a special gift. He is a gigantic fan of yours. He's <coughs> sick in hospital. His name is Frank. So maybe you'll wish him a happy birthday. Hello, Frank. I wish you a fantastic happy birthday and uh, stay healthy. And the next time I come to Dublin, I bake banana bread for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring the violin. That's all we want, Andre. <laughs> yes, OK. I'll Maestro, do that it has been an absolute uh, pleasure talking to you. Continued success. And uh, you make a very... Uh, a lot of people around the world very happy with the concerts and with your music. Keep it going and hopefully Thank we'll you. see you in Dublin soon. Thank you, Andre. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, up there with the favourite guests already. What a gentleman. Love yeah. him. Can't now, wait to taste the banana bread. Tickets are available for Andre <laughs> Rieu's magical Maastricht Together in Music concert coming to cinemas nationwide from this Friday.